When the bell rang for round one of the Mac's biggest rivalry, the Manhattan Jaspers fans were ready to go. Hi, I'm Anthony Carlo here at Dratty Gymnasium in the Bronx, New York, where the Manhattan student section, nicknamed the Sixth Borough, was at times deafening. But when it was all said and done, it was ice in the veins of A.J. English and Cedric Casimir that led the Gales to a 70-67 victory. There is no love lost between Iona and Manhattan fans in one of college basketball's biggest rivalries. And in the first meeting since the Jaspers dethroned the Gales in last year's MAC championship, Iona would get its revenge. A.J. English pestered the Jaspers all night long with his 22 points, including a three with 25 seconds left to send the Gales off with their 20th win. If we punch them in the mouth, they're going to punch us in the mouth right back, so you got to be ready to you know, throw another punch. And Iona freshman Cedric Casimir threw a flurry of punches, 22 points worth. Iona head coach Tim Kloos was not sure how he would handle the hostile environment. We were wondering how he would do tonight, in all fairness. He had played really well early, had a, a stretch where he struggled, has come back lately, and we're like, okay, let's see how he's going to react to this environment. Okay, is he going to be himself? Or, and he was great. Manhattan head coach Steve Masiello makes it clear that the power of the Iona offense is a product of coaching, and Clues being the only coach in Iona program history to have five consecutive 20-win seasons is no coincidence. The guy's a genius. It, it, you know, Sean leaves, Momo leaves, Glove leaves. Uh, Everyone who leads, it's, you know, it's Tim. There's a reason every year they're at the top in the country of offense, and it's, and it's Tim Kloos. The Iona fans had the last laugh at Dratty, but will encounter the Jaspers and their fans again at the Heinz Athletic Center on February 27th at 7 p.m. In Riverdale, New York, I'm Anthony Carlo.